Hello everyone. In this video I will explain about the tools with the name Stackator. In the previous videos I showed inside of Kiverno where we can listen or catch events types of update inside of Secretor config map and based on this information from admission review we can on the fly do roll and restart stateful set daemon set or deployment itself and but Kiverno really very complex tool which we can do tons of stuff uh, in our environment based on source which we what kind of requirements will come of course security based or some production environment requirement too but these two mostly focused on the source secrets or config map and based on sources this information what, what's a good point of this they do catch in any update but only if it will be happened inside of data value inside of secret and at the same time config map so what does it mean as i showed in kiverno videos we can change on the fly secret or config map but we can add label or annotation inside of them and at this time event update will be happened and rolling restart for deployment or stateful set or daemon set will be happened too but do that i've used the call fault I looked inside of source codes stackators, and mostly they use the same way. They try to compare with the SHA, with the previous request object, and I mean request old object with the request object from admission review to be sure really all the, all the data inside of secret or config map really changed. And do based on this information and update event, they do roll and restart stateful set or config map. It's just installation, which I will not go to in deep. It's very easy to install Stackator with the Helm. I have already installed this in Reloader Helm's uh, namespace. If I will show, you will see it's deployed here. So, what I prepared to show how it works. This is deployment which works inside of Check Reloader namespace. I have prepared two secrets and two config maps inside of the same namespace I will show you still this is secrets which right now present there in the namespace check reloader at the same time if I will do get secrets we will see I have created two, three more secrets to simulate what will happen what's a good and easy point it works, it works just based on annotation inside of deployment. If I will do kubectl get deployment inside of check reloader, we will see in the top of configuration. With the annotation, we can define sec config map name at the same time secret name. So what does it mean? It means we can define multiple secrets at the same time to which of them uh, our deployment looks to get values so in our case we can use them like as environment variables or mount inside of directly to our containers I did this, it's not interesting I want to show the main point where if I will do still edit config map inside of check reloader demo config map and try to for example delete annotation in the right side we must focus here nothing will be happened because yeah update event will be happened because i deleted inside of this config map but restart will not happen because i didn't change under data value as i said before they do comparison with the sha if i will go to the delete some value on the key and the data sorry as we see it sent signal to do rolling restart to deployment at the same time, if I will do change for secret demo secret 2, for example, oh, I can add an annotation, sorry, not demo secret 2, it must be named like as demo secret and a second secret. For example, I will delete annotation, nothing will be happen for the secret because update event happened but we didn't change on the data and if I will delete or add new secret value restart happened 
the same for another circuit just to be sure and show to you of the comma it works I mean inside of demo deployment configuration where I showed to you annotation value with a secret name same time I deleted annotation to show you of the after update event restart not uh, didn't happen but if I will add or delete some new key only on the data restart will be happen and that's it actually I hope it will be useful thank you for watching